Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Space Yandere. Now, this comes from the same creator of Mother and the Child, two games that I enjoyed playing a lot. They made a third game called Space Yandere. We are going to check it out right now. There is a warning that says flashing lights, so everybody, please be careful while you're watching this. If you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Oh, dear. I hope this works. Oh, well. Here goes nothing. Okay, here goes nothing for sure. Oh, stars! It worked! Welcome to life, little guy! Wait, little guy? Who's little guy? How are you feeling? Is everything alright? Why don't you move around a bit? I want to make sure everything's okay. Oh, this little guy! You did it! You moved so well! All systems look phenomenal. Hmm, my new best friend and assistant. What should I call you? I know. How about Digit? What do you think, Digit? Do you like that name? No. I'm so glad you like it. It suits you just right. You're my special little guy, Digit. There's so much I want to share with you. Where do I even begin? I know. The reason I took this job, the reason this project exists, I want you to meet him. Alex will absolutely adore you. Would you bring him a treat for me? I like to treat him every day. He looks like this. Here, use this to buy it in the plaza. Oh, that fuckboy? Got order ticket. Oh, I almost forgot. Press shift to do a little spark. Try it out. Let me see. Ooh, amazing. You learned so fast. Why don't you try powering up one of those bots? Okay, let me zap this hoe. Bop. Maybe I gave you too much power. It's okay. The ship is crawling with those bots. Go bring a treat to Alex now. Make his day, okay? Hey, little robot dude. Haven't seen you around here before. You don't look like the others. Are you another one of Luna's modifications? Anyway, the name's Sparks. Mechanic extraordinaire. Come here if you need a tune-up. I've gotten pretty good with these bots. Don't tell Melvin about this. I like the little sound that the characters make every time a new text pops up on the screen. Like, listen to this. Oh, never mind. He stopped talking. But look, every time I talk to somebody. What? Do I look like someone? A badass, I'm sure. Oh, he didn't do the thing either. It's not getting enough power. We'll take that! Got him. Ticket detected. Request transaction. Positive. Got treats. Okay, cool. And there you go. Hello, fuckboy. Hmm, a little orange robot? Where did you come from? Look, listen to the sound he makes when the words pop up. <laughs> Sounds like... Small, curious design. Bright, colorful paint. Luna's to blame for this. Am I right? Amazing. I'm sure you're full of wonder. What's this? What's this? Is this a treat for me? Wow, she doesn't miss a date, does she? Take care of her, all right, little robot? Gave treats. I'm surprised that guy didn't bark. As soon as I gave him the treat, I expected him to go, Woo! 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 Doodad, one out of ten? What doodad, one out of ten? Hold on, I don't even know what I just got. I was randomly in the dark, and I just got something, so hooray for me. A trash shoot. Okay, let's go inside here. Let's talk to this person. <laughs> That's what I get trying to give it my all when I'm voicing these things. It said snort, and I was like, I'm going to do the wildest snort I've ever done. And I felt like I couldn't breathe. Luna's perfume. Huh? Tiny orange robot. Is she messing with my design again? Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> okay. That guy looks like a bad guy. He smells like a villain. He smells like a villain, and he smells like cat piss. So, let's shock all those. And I got another doodad. Wait, where am I going? Oh, cool. I didn't even know that was a platform. I thought that was just like a dance floor where I can bust some sweet-ass moves. Is this a scary game? It said Space Yandere. I don't know what could be scary from that. But I think that there might be some scary shit going on here, right? Or nah? Nah, I don't think so. I think I was only meant to come here to get another one of those doodads. Oh, that looks like a robot face. Hello, milady. Bruh, I'm getting sick of space. Oh, okay. Hello, little brother. What are you doing here? I'm evac. If something goes wrong, I'll deliver you to safety. Nothing will go wrong. No reason to be in a place like this. Okay, thank you, brother. I love you, big bro. You've always been my best big bro. What is this? Did I just get ejected? Eden says Earth was ruined by greed. Will the new planet be any different? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out eventually, right? A new unit? So small. Your computing power must be minuscule. Why is everybody always making fun of my size? They always say that size doesn't matter, so stop making me feel bad. 
<laughs> is what I would say if I was a little bitch. Good thing I'm not. I ejected myself again. I thought maybe it would be different, but I'm out here just repeating history. Don't worry, little brother. Nothing will go wrong. Why don't I believe you? Why do I feel like the most wrong thing that has ever been wronged is about to happen? Even the music sounds wrong. It sounds like something's about to happen. What's up, baby girl? Welcome back. So, how was it? Did you enjoy your little adventure, Digit? I did. Luna! What's this I'm hearing about a new robot? Oh, relax, Melvin. I didn't change much. We'll see about that. Uh-oh. Melvin, what are you doing? Hmm, at least there's not much damage. The core design's intact. Stop it, Melvin. You're hurting him. These bots are mine! No more modifications. Well, maybe if you ask really nicely. <laughs> oh, brother. Don't forget who's in control. Do you mean, oh, brother, for real? Like, he's your brother? Or just like, oh, brother. Everything all right in here? Melvin looks sweatier than usual. You know how it goes. Don't touch the bots, yada, yada. Thanks for looking out for me, Sparks. Hey, as long as you're okay. Who else is gonna pop in here? Digit? It's been a long day for me. Making you was no easy task. What do you say we go relax? You can charge your battery. I guess I would like that very much. Do I sleep in the bed too, or do I just charge somewhere else? Oh, we go in the bed also. It looked like a twin-sized bed. It didn't seem like there was enough room for me. So, tell me, Digit. You come here often? What did you think of Alex? Did you like him? Uh, I mean, I talked to the guy for like two seconds. He said thank you, so at least he was appreciative of the treat I gave him, but... I guess... I knew you would! He's the reason I joined this crew in the first place. By his side, on a paradise planet. Who could say no to that? Unconditional devotion. I don't expect you to understand, Digit, since you're a bot and all. Unless... Digit, since I created you, is that the way you feel about me? Oh, yeah. Oh, Digit, you've made me so happy I could cry. I knew it was a good idea to make you. I had a special feeling about it. You're my special little guy, Digit. Don't you ever forget that. Good night, Digit. I'll see you when I wake up. I feel like we're not going to see her when we wake up. Or maybe she's going to fall in love with the robot. Who knows? I'm just expecting some kind of twist. Save? Yes. Let's save on the first one. Doodads 4. <laughs> I need to find more doodads because I think we have to find 10. Maybe we get a true ending if we find all the doodads. A comfy bed. I've seen comfier. That looked like it's rock hard. There you are, Digit. Did you have a good rest? Your battery looks great. Thank you. I did it myself. Could you bring Alex something again? I don't want to miss a day. Here, use this. Got order ticket. I'll be waiting for you here, Digit. Have fun. Here's another doodad. You're a curious fella, aren't you? That's a special device I'm working on. It's something of a present for you, a token of our bond. Unfortunately, I just started, so it's not finished yet. Say, if you happen to find anything I can use to finish it, would you bring it here? There's bound to be some stuff lying around. I'm counting on you. No problem. Let me shock these people first. And wait, there's another one of these. But wait, there's more type shit. Bam! So we got six out of the ten doodads. Why do they keep reappearing? They really want more to smoke, huh? What's that? What is that? I have no idea what that is. Go on, Digit. I'll be waiting for you here. All right, all right, all right. Damn. Okay, so let's get more treats from this guy. Take it, detected. Request transaction. Yes, got treats. Okay, where is Loverboy at? He should be close by. Watch him be talking to somebody else. Ooh, I am going to snitch so hard and so fast. Watch me. Come closer for a second. You smell of Luna. I'm just going to pretend that I didn't hear that. I'm just going to pretend that my computer brain did not process that. Well, we got 7 out of 10 doodads. And where in the holy mother of Fook is that guy? I can't find the other guy for some reason. If he's with another girl, ooh, I'm doing that all day. Just shocking those pepperoni nipples. Watch me. He's got to be over here, right? There you are not are. Hey, little guy. Wait, are you checking up on me every day? That's kind of cute. You're not like the other bots, are you? Let's look out for each other, okay? Sure. Right on. By the way, check it out. No more exploding robot. I've truly got the hang of it now. All right, catch you later, buddy. I wonder if any of these things can help me with, um, with Luna. No? I have 9 out of 10 doodads, so that's good, right? What happened? What is that? 
Huh? Did that thing explode? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I like the sound effects in this game. <laughs> they make me laugh. Bijou Mike? Hey, scrub! What? Do I look like someone? Wait, that is Bijou Mike! Maybe I have to go on this platform. Because I can't find that guy. He's got to be in here. Doing something else. I bet you he's talking to someone, though. I'm trying to predict the plot. I bet you. I bet you he's talking to somebody. Where you at? Oh! I was right! Let's go! Caught that ass in 4K, boy! The journey's almost over. Our effort will pay off soon. It's hard not to celebrate a little. A simulation never hurt anyone. What's that you got there? Another treat for me? What's that you got there? Another treat for you? Wow. What could make this day better? Thanks, little guy. Gave treat. Who the hell are you? Ferdinand Green. Perfect blue. This is how it used to be on Earth. And that's how it is on the new planet. Isn't that wonderful, little robot? We've been given a second chance. I know that look. We're almost there. Can't you wait? You know I'm only human. <gasps> what? <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> now I know why this shit's called Space Yandere. You are going to die. You are dead. Like, there's a lot of things that I can't predict right in life. But if there's one thing I know, this man is dead meat. Could you give us some time, little robot? We'd really appreciate it. Oh, man. You're both dead. I'm a little busy right now, little robot. Could you come back later? Did you see that? Where's the factories? How did people use to make things? Are you not seeing these people eating each other's faces off with their tongues? You would think that they could speak French the way they're using those tongues. Was the sky really blue? Seems far-fetched. Do you see these pink tongues? They're just fighting each other. I don't know who's winning. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh oh. Yonder emote activated, bro. Oh crap. I feel so bad for her. I really do. Okay, we gotta hurry up and get to the room. Because she's upset and we have to make her feel better. She created us and we just have to make her happy. She better be here. Because if she's not, I'm gonna be. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, that's so freaking sad. I actually feel really bad for her. Aww. Oh, Digit. How could I have been so stupid? Of course he would pick her. She's so beautiful. And I'm just weird and ugly. Digit. I gave up everything when I got on this ship. My family. My friends. They made their stand on Earth. I could have been with them. Digit. I think I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake. I know you're just a robot, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Look, I'll supply the knife, and whatever happens, happens. I'm just saying. <laughs> that perfume. Luna? What are you doing during night cycle? You can't even just call it nighttime. You have to call it night cycle, you freaking weirdo. I just wanted to check on my favorite guy. Say, we're getting awful close to that new planet, and, well... Gee, I promised myself I'd do this before we got there. I wanted to tell you... How much I like you. You? Like me? Yeah, I like you a lot. I like you so much, I can't wait to be on the new planet with you. In fact, I wish when we got there, it'd just be you and me. What do you think about that? Strange, hypothetical, desirable in theory. Yes, and we can put it into practice. I just need a little bit of your help. You still have that pretty little remote control of yours, right? <laughs> oh boy. I know those evil maniacal laughs. I've heard one or two of those in my day, I'll tell you. So let's save it right here. And we have 10 doodads. Oh shit, we have all 10 doodads. Hooray for me. Can we clap it up for me? But we're back as Digit. I don't know what Luna's up to, but it can't be good. There you are, Digit. I'm feeling much better. Oh, and I had the most wonderful dream. Maybe I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, I got a cake from the cafeteria while you were sleeping. Would you mind bringing it to Eden? She's the girl with the annoying pink hair. She's so grossly thin, she must be ill. Got strange cake. Hurry, Digit. We're almost at the new planet. Oh, Digit. You've got so many doodads. This should be enough to finish my gift for you. 
cool. It's something I wanted to finish before you were activated. It's an adorable heart-shaped proximity sensor. It pulses when we're close, so we always know where each other are. Isn't it wonderful? That is wonderful. That's awesome. And I think that it's going to be very useful later if she does try to kill me. What's going on right here? Hold on. I don't understand. Let me talk to my boy Sparks. Little robot. Right on time. You know, we're almost to the new planet. There's something I wanted to ask Luna. Do you think you could ask her for me? No, that's not the way to do it. Never mind. Just forget about it. Oh, you have a crush on her. I actually think you two would be a sweet couple. I mean, better than the other guy. Oh, screw it. What's the use in holding back? Hey. You'd consider us buds, right? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And buds tell each other secret stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, why not, why not? Well, you're obviously very close to her, so I thought I'd ask you. Do you think Luna could possibly into a guy like me? Yeah, I mean, blonde hair, brown eyes, dirt on the face. She loves bad boys. Really? You think so? So if I get the opportunity, I should go ahead and tell her how I feel? Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I kind of like this guy. I don't know. Because I feel like if he confesses his love to her, she's just going to reject him, and we don't know what's going to happen after that. I want this guy to survive, obviously. So, I'm just going to say no. Oh. Sorry, dude. Maybe if I play through this again, I'll say yeah? Actually, uh, you know what? Let me talk to you again. Luna always finds a way to put her spin on things. You turned out amazing. Oh, okay. I guess he forgot about it. He's easy to forget things, so that's cool. But let's see, let's see. We need to find the girl with the annoying pink hair. I wonder if she's still over here. If she's still doing that tongue wrestling competition with the other guy. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, I predicted the plot. I'm like that. Oh, here she is. What do you have there? Is that for me? Yep. It doesn't look quite right. Are you sure it's safe to eat? Oh yeah. I tried it myself. Hey, little guy. Did Luna say anything about me? Not yet. Calm your thirsty ass down. Hey, you'd consider us buds, right? Yeah. And buds tell each other secret stuff, right? Yeah. Well, you're obviously very close to us. I thought I'd ask you. What? Man, we just talked about this, Sparks. Come on. Looks like you're glitching out. Mind if I take a look? Sure. I guess I'm malfunctioning a little bit. Wait, what is that? Huh? What's this weird chip? I have no idea. Mysterious chip removed. That's interesting. I swear that's never happened to me before. What the heck? Hey, Luna. Could you look at this strange chip I found? I think Luna put it in there. <gasps> Wait. No! Fuck! No! Sparks! My bro! What the fuck? Bridget? Was that one of your circuits he was holding? Don't lie to mama. Come here and let me take a look. Wait, what? Hold on, what just happened? I have no idea what just went down. I'm so confused. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, I'm so confused right now, everybody. Give me one second, give me one second. Shock that ass. Wow, these guys are super freaking fast. I guess this is the only way I can go? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Why is she coming after me? I did exactly what you wanted me to do. Like, I gave that person that nasty cake that you wanted me to give, and all I did was try to come back to you, and all of a sudden you're coming from my cheeks? That doesn't make any sense. Let me just get out of here, everybody. Let me just figure this all out. Oh, shit, there you are. Little robot. You don't seem haywire like the others. The situation doesn't look good. We've lost control of the ship. Let's get to evac. Hopefully the others have too. Let's go. Oh, Alex, join me? All right, Alex. Just jump onto my orange shoulders and I'll take you to paradise, I promise. What's happening? Oh, this guy. Melvin, you've got to do something about your bots. They seem to have gone haywire. You, you're, you're alive? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? No reason. Uh, yeah, haywire, out of my control. Nothing I can do about it. Damn. I've given the order to abandon ship. We're heading to evac. You better join us. Sure, sounds great. Uh, right behind you. Obviously, you don't trust that, right? Like, I can end him right now. I have the ability to shock. Oh, wait, what about her? Oh, shoot. Luna, why aren't you with the others? Let's get going while we still can. Why? 
What's the rush? Something's off with you. Luna, you don't have anything to do with this, do you? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. The bots might just be malfunctioning today. Luna, please. It's possible no one's been hurt yet. There's still time to undo this. <laughs> don't you see? I did this all for you. Once the bots have taken care of everyone else, we'll have the new planet all to ourselves. No one will come between us. It will be perfect, just like I imagined. She really wants to repopulate that new planet. We're so close to the end of our journey. Please, come back to reality for just a bit longer. It's okay, Alex. I knew you'd be scared at first. Once you see how amazing life will be, you'll come around. I just know it. Please, guys. We're trying to have a moment here. Guys. You. You used me! After you got rid of the others! I was next, wasn't I? Well, you forgot who's in control. Bots! Get her! Leave her! Let's get out of here! Okay. Right behind you, buddy. Oh, shit. She's not going to be in Space Yandere, too? All right. Are we ready to take off? Yes. I don't know if that was the right choice. Oh, we escaped! Okay, so we got an escape ending. Yay! Neutral end? What? What's the good end? Oh, I think the good end is if I don't let Sparks die, right? That's gotta be it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they survived, right? But I think a good ending would be if the Space Yandere girl, Luna, doesn't die also. So maybe everybody lives? Let me say that yes, I do think that Luna could possibly be into a guy like you. Really? You think so? So if I get the opportunity, I should go ahead and tell her how I feel? Yes. You're not just saying that, right? I won't be making a fool of myself? Nah. Okay, it's settled. Next time I see her, I'll tell her exactly how I feel. Thanks so much, little robot dude. I really owe you one. Also, check it out. No more exploding robot. For real this time. Alright, I'll see you on the new planet. Heard we're almost there. Okay, cool. So the next thing that I need to do is not give that cake to the pink-haired girl. Wait a minute. What's going on with your lights? Looks like you're glitching out. Mind if I take a look? Yes. So if he takes this out, does that mean that I still die? Huh. What's this weird chip? Because he confronts Luna about the chip. So is that her cue to kill him? Mysterious chip removed. I hope not. But let's go back and let's see what happens. Please don't kill Sparks. It's happening. It is. Digit? You seem to be functioning normally. Digit? You're not messing with Mama's plans, are you? No, Mama. I'm being a good boy, Mama. Come, let me take a look at your circuits, Digit. It will only take a second. Okay, so if we tell Sparks all that good stuff, then he won't actually try to confront Luna. So we save Sparks, we save Luna. Ah! And now we just have to make sure she doesn't die. Oh, Sparks is right there! Ah! Oh, it's just you. What? I'm not hiding, I'm repairing something. Yeah, this crate. This crate is extremely broken. Oh yeah, definitely. Anyway, something's going on with the bots. It doesn't look good. We should find Alex. He'll know what to do. What do you say, little guy? Should we team up? Yes. Sparks, join you. And there's the other guy. Alex, thanks stars it's you. The bots have gone nuts. Well, except for this little guy. What should we do? It doesn't look good. We've lost control of the ship as well. I've given an order to evacuate, but I can't find Eden. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Luna either. You should get to evac. I'll find the others and meet up with you later. Are you kidding? I'm not letting you do this alone. What do you say, little guy? Let's find the girls together? Yes. Let's Alex go. joined you. Okay, let's see if we can find the girl Eden. She's gotta be over here, right? Yes, no, maybe so? No, she's not. Okay, um, I can't talk to the guys. They're useless. They have no input on anything. But wait, what about here? A trash chute. Toss strange cake? Yes. Toss strange cake. I held on to it this whole time. Okay, maybe Eden's over here. Maybe I try to find Eden before I talk to... What's his face? Let me save on the third slot. The the four-eyed freak with the glasses. The one that snorts and sniffs. Maybe I find Eden before I talk to him. Because there he is. Oh, there's Eden. What's up, Eden? Oh, shoot. Wait, can we save her? Digit. Really? After all I've done? That settles it. Like Alex said, there's still time to make things right. I'll be right behind you, Digit. I know we can do it. Luna joined you. You think it'd be that easy? Get her, mainframe! 
I don't know who mainframe is, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. Wait, hold on. I think I know what to do. They just keep coming, Digit. We'll have to deal with mainframe first. Oh, this guy? That's it. Mainframe's big, but he'll fry just like the rest. You can do it, Digit. I believe in you. Oh, man, that's a lot of health. I'm so glad that I have unlimited shocking ability, or else this would get really freaking awkward. But I think I just killed my brother, my robot brother. I've always loved you, brother. I think I can try to find Eden over here. Yes. The evac ship is launched. Oh, no. Okay, so I think I need to get Eden before I actually try to save Luna, for real. Oh, wait, the girl is here. What? Thanks, stars, you guys are all right. When the bots started to act up, I feared the worst. What did you say, little guy? Should we take off now? Yes. That's weird. Okay, so she was just randomly there. That's good. Neutral and here's the evac ship digit. I think I think I'm staying Don't look at me like that digit. I did a terrible thing. I don't deserve to live on the new planet with the others Go now digit live a happy little robot life with all your new friends. Don't look back No, I told you digit. I'm staying. Don't try to talk me out of it. I've made my decision Goodbye digit live your happiest life for both of us. I wouldn't be able to live with myself after what I've done Go now, Digit! Live for both of us! Goodbye, Digit. I'll always remember you. Goodbye, Digit. No! Let me shock some sense into her. Are they going to her? Yeah, buddy! Okay, I'm here for all the drama. Let me get my popcorn ready. Let me talk to her one more time. What do you want with us now? Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you, Alex. Then you deactivated the bots. Not exactly. It's out of my hands now. What's all this about, Luna? Why have you done this? I'm sorry, Eden. When I saw you and Alex together, I guess I sort of... lost it a bit. Luna. That's what this is about? I'm sorry, friends. I don't deserve to be on the new planet with you. The bots could find you any moment. You should leave now. What are they, conversing right now? Okay, but you're coming too. I am? So you went a little space crazy. It's nothing to miss the new planet over. Well, I suppose, if you've come back to reality, you'd better come with us as well. It wouldn't be the same without you, Luna. My friends, I don't deserve your kindness. Let's save the mushy stuff for later. We're not done here yet. Right, let's get going, Digit. Okay, so I think that we just completed a love square. Because Sparks loves Luna, Luna loves the fuckboy guy, and fuckboy guy loves Eden. The new planet is just ahead of us. Let's get going, little guy. No launch. Humans die. I knew you weren't really my brother! No launch. What are you talking about, Evac? We've got to get going! Oh, scrap! This one's gone bonkers, too! Evac, what's going on? You used to be such a good bot. Bad bot. Humans die. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But we just made everything right. Digit, what are we going to do? I'm going to shock you. Yeah, right? Did I do it? Humans die. Humans die. <laughs> okay, what do I do? What do I do? The new planet is right there. I can't possibly end like this. Okay, hold on. Let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. This is all my fault. Digit, I've doomed this all. Oh, man, I really thought we were going to make it. You thought it'd be that easy? What are you doing, Melvin? Deactivate the bots. We can end this now. You used me. You humiliated me. And have you forgotten who's in control? As long as I have this remote, you will die. Okay, uh, give me that remote. Give me that remote. Come on. What do I do? 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 I have no idea what to do. Hold on. Um, as long as he has the remote. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I know what to do. Maybe I put him inside the evac thing? No. I don't. Oh, wait. I do? <gasps> Digit! I sacrificed myself for the greater good. Evac's back to normal. That's not fair. Melvin's remote must be far away enough. Luna, I think your robot sacrificed himself to save us. No. Digit! I'm so sorry. I'll never forget this. Oh, that's so sad. Don't tell me this is like the true ending or the good ending. Because Digit dying is definitely not a good ending. That just makes me sad as hell. Unless Digit's alive, right? Come on now. Poor Luna. She really cared about that robot. 
She'll be alright. They're just bots after all. I don't think she feels that way. No need to cry anymore. It's over. We made it. I can't help it. I feel like I don't belong here with you guys. Don't say that, Luna. Just about everyone made it off the ship. Melvin made his own choice. But Digit... He's cold and alone in space. And it's all because of me. He's just a robot after all. We can build him again. He wasn't just a robot. He was special. He stood by me through all this. Well, in case you haven't noticed, he isn't the only one. I don't understand. Why are you being so kind to me after everything I've done? Luna, there's a special reason I decided to join this crew. To me, it doesn't matter what crazy thing you've done. It's a kind of unconditional feeling. I don't expect you to understand. No, I know exactly what you mean. I felt that way before. And I'm sure that's how Digit felt about me. Sparks? Are you trying to say... I'm saying, when we get to the new planet, I don't want you to worry anymore. I'm gonna be there for you in every way. That's a promise. Okay. I see you Sparks stepping up. And they all seem to live happily ever after. Don't tell me this is the true ending for real though. Because Digit dying is definitely not a good ending to me. That actually just makes me really upset and wishes that he could have survived and Luna just died or something. I like this music though. Reminds me of Zelda. It's beautiful here. I'm glad we hiked so far. Man, nothing beats the air out here. Is this really how it was on Earth? That's what Eden says. It's so wonderful. I just wish Digit were here to see it. You can't keep doing this, Luna. I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about him. He did everything he could for me. I just want to see him one more time. And then Digit appeared. <gasps> yes! The tracker thing! Huh? My Digit charm? But... But that means... Unreal! Digit, you made it! I don't believe my eyes! Is this for real? What are the odds? Do you think he's alright? I can't get him to activate. Hmm, let me see what I can do. Are you sure it's safe? I've seen your work with robots before, and let me tell you, Digit only has one head. No, no, no. You got it all wrong. Those were practice bots. I know what I'm doing now. Besides, I owe it to the little guy. We said we'd look out for each other. Well, all right then. Here goes. Okay, cool. So, obviously, we trust in Sparks. In Sparks, we trust. And we better open our eyes. Perfect blue. So that means he did open his eyes. Tell me that's the good ending. And I don't know why I'm throwing up this sign with my hands right now. But Luna and Digit are back together again. So I'm guessing that this is the true ending because the credits are starting to roll. And that was actually a cool game. I enjoyed that one a lot. I like the creator of these games. Like Mother was good. The Child was good. And this one is good as well. All three different styles. And they all just had a good story that I just wanted to get all the endings for. But that was called Space Yandere. Let me know what you all thought about that game in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed me playing through it, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.